Greetings and salutations everybody and welcome to another Let's Talk. And today, there's only one topic of conversation and that is my merch pickups. That's right, the games, movies, comics, whatever that I picked up in the month of merch. I won't go over comics because once again, various variety including the Age of Ultron series which has been released over this past month. But let's dive into it with the uh, first little block of games here that I have. Well, two games and one book, actually. And that's Pokemon Conquest for the DS. I've heard really good things about this game, especially from my friend. Uh, and he's mentioned it to me on several occasions, how well it's done. And I saw it in Toys R Us, and I just had to go for it. That's right, instead of picking up something like Bioshock Infinite, I picked up Pokemon Conquest. God, I'm a sucker when I see a game that I'm curious about and just gotta pick it up. <laughs> uh, secondly here, I have PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. I originally picked it up solely on the purpose of being able to take it over to a friend's place and a bunch of us to play it. I have since platinumed the game since I picked it up. It's quite an easy platinum, too, and... Uh, if you're a trophy hunter like myself, I'd highly recommend it for that fact. And I also highly recommend it because it's a fun game. It actually is really well done. And I was kind of like iffy about like the whole thing at the beginning, but after playing it, I, I can't recommend this game enough. It is actually a really well done fighting game. Yes, it's kind of like Smash Brothers, but different at the same time. Uh, the variety of characters, I wish there were a few more. They're releasing more via DLC, that's for sure. Uh, Isaac, Clark, and Zeus came out this month for the game. Which I kind of want to pick up Isaac. I haven't yet, but I, I'm i really tempted to. And finally, the last thing I have here is a book, and that's uh, Marvel Civil War. And I love the comic book storyline, the event that Marvel put out years ago now. So when I saw that the book was finally in paperback, I said, why not? I'll, I'll pick it up and uh, give it a read. Not, I haven't read it yet. Uh, it's the next book I'm going to dive into uh, once I'm finished with the one I have now at work. So I can probably tell you more about that in the future. Actually, you listen to the Canuck podcast, I'll probably be mentioning it on my uh, what I'm reading section. But okay, that's the uh, three smaller ones out of the way. Let's dive into my big pickups for the month of March. First here is the Tomb Raider Collector's Edition. Now I have finished Tomb Raider uh, a couple a week ago actually and my god this game is wonderful. And the Collector's Edition absolutely worth the money after I got it. I originally never had it pre-ordered anything I just walked into my local EB and you know, I had a normal copy pre-order and I saw this behind the, the counter and I was like, is that for sale? And the girl was like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. But the collector's edition is nice. As you can see, it comes in this uh, spiffy little survivor tin case packaging. It's not actual tin case, but tin packaging. You know what I mean. And on the inside there, we've got a uh, poster, which I never really fully undone for you guys to see, but... There you go, you can kind of get a di the gist of what it is. It's a double-sided poster. One side has Laura onto it, which is on the box here of the game, and the other side has the map of the island, which is pretty cool. And the other item there you see is a uh, lithograph, which came with the uh, Collector's Edition. Very nice, high-quality picture here. And also in the Collector's Edition is a uh, art book and a soundtrack, which is beautifully done. I love the soundtrack so much of this game. And also in the Collector's Edition is a Laura Croft, Laura Croft figurine done by uh, Playkai Arts. Which is Square Enix's little toy section, I guess. Uh, I've gotten a, one of their figurines before of uh, Sifroth from Final Fantasy VII. Very nice quality. These figurines usually go in like the $40 range from what I've seen. And... Uh, this figure figure here, though the pictures really don't really don't do it justice, is of really nice quality. There's a uh, 
bow and like extra hands for her there as well. So different setups that you can put her in. No, not like that, you dirty, dirty minded people. But uh, yeah, the figurine is really nice, really nice, nicely crafted. The uh, paint job onto it is fantastic. Very happy with it. And as you can see there by her head in one of the pictures, was three iron-on badges, which I think is kind of amusing in this day and age that they actually put iron-on badges in there. It's, it's funny, it's it's kind of neat. Okay, and last but not least is something that I just got come today on April 4th. I bought it in the month of March, so that's why it's on my March pickups. And that is Hyper Dimension Neptunia, N Neptunia, Neptuna Victory Special Edition. And yes, it's packaged in a uh, lunchbox tin, which is absolutely awesome. I love this, guys. As you can see, the artwork on the front there is really nice. Uh, I absolutely adore this thing. It's so cool. It's so nice. And it was actually $64.99, plus taxes and shipping. But yeah, this is what makes this awesome. Their collector's editions are usually pretty damn cheap compared to what you see some people putting out. I mean, the Tomb Raider one was $99.99, and I'm sure if Square Enix had done this collector's edition, it would probably have been around the same thing, like 100 bucks or more. But yeah, the special tin case here. Uh, on the inside, we have three little things. There's the soundtrack, which includes 24 songs from the game. There is the art book, which is kind of nice there. So those two little things, which were fantastic, and the game, of course, itself, it, of course, as you can see. Then there is the another little uh, lunchbox on the inside, a mini one, which is actually pretty cool as well. It has the uh, characters of the game in chibi form on it. It is absolutely cute and adorable. And you have cute and adorable, and you also have anime boobs there so yeah that's pretty much the game in a nutshell it's funny and I cannot wait to start playing it and I'm gonna start playing it right now once this video is done so guys that's my uh, pickups for the month of March my main ones anyway I've picked up some stuff on Steam and uh, I think on PSN as well but I can't remember right now well in the month of March I got Spec Ops the line for free on PSN but that doesn't count, that's not necessarily a uh, pickup now, is it? But on Steam, I think I picked up a couple of games. Ah yes, I picked up uh, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, and I also picked up uh, the Oregon, Oregon Trail Director's Cut, which is absolutely so amusing. Uh, they also had an indie sale going on, so I picked up Dead Pixels, Dead Light, Analog, a hates, a hates story, game, and soundtrack bundle, and uh, the Gundemodium Collection, which I probably might not have pictures for all these guys, so I'm sorry, just enjoy a little picture of the Steam thing. So, that's going to do it for my merch pickups video. I thank you for watching. I've been Lord X. You've been awesome. Down in the comments below, let me know what you picked up in merch, or what you've been playing. You know, just do it. Maybe even leave a video response to this, showing your merch pickups. And until next time, I will catch you later. Goodbye, everybody.